everybody and welcome to the Aquarium Cowboy. Today it is my two year anniversary of being in the hobby and I have officially today had my blue blue male fail tail but uh for one year so I've had this die for one year so yeah, um, I don't exactly know what this video is going to be about because I didn't plan this video really. I just knew I was going to make a video on my two year anniversary. So I'm going to uh, film it about something, so uh, stay tuned. Alright guys, so real quick, I thought I'd just do a update video, real quick, or update clip on the goldfish, eyeless goldfish tank. So he's doing good, he's much better. As you can see, I added two minnows from the 55 down, and the, and because they dug around so much, I'm gonna take those two out soon and just add a uh, comet dolphin, one of my baby comet dolphins that I bred in my 2,500 gallon pond. But everything's doing good. The minnows are so crazy that they made that pig fall over. <laughs> so whatever. All right, guys. So. Yeah, I'm going to show the nuts tank, and then hopefully I will know what I'm going to be filming this video about by then. Alright guys, so yesterday we were boating, and I, well, I'm just going to, this is just a story, and what's going to be happening soon. So, we were boating, and we found this awesome little uh, finger of the lake, and there were bass, green sunfish, pimmy sunfish, it was just amazing there were also many larger fish too and uh so i caught a, a sunfish i don't know what type uh i don't think it was green sunfish though and i had him but then i wanted you know to bring him back home because at that late uh you can catch and keep so you know, I want to bring it home, but he accidentally got hooked off the line. He got off my hook. But I will say that we will be going to that spot in like six days, in like six more days. And I will hopefully catch a new fish. So stay tuned for that because that is a, because where we were fishing, it was just abundant with fish. Also, as in see my court, that's doing good. But yeah, so. Um, I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So I'm back a little bit later. I just want to say thank you all for 50 subscribers. Um, I just can't believe I reached that many in such a short time of YouTubing. And, uh, also a twit 50 subscriber shout out, which is going to be to RSS Quadits. Check their channel out. Um, really good channel that produces some dead fish content. Uh, they are a part of the fish fam And so yeah check that channel out and yeah, so this I'm just showing the Gojo Lodge, but I'm also gonna have a little informative part of this video that I try to do in every video So stay tuned for that right, guys So I'm back at the 3.5 gallon uh, better slash dough shrimp tank If you want proof that there's dough shrimp in here this should Okay, that doesn't have any proof, but there's a dish shrimp in there. Um, alright, so... I'm just gonna be doing why any almond leaves are good. And why you should buy them. Etc. Alright, so not only are they very, or quite cheap. Uh, I think this was like $10 for a pack of 10. From Cory McElroy of a Crime Cup, or just a Crime Cup. Yeah, I should all know who he is if you don't, which I'm, I would be very surprised if you don't, but if you don't, which would be very surprising, and then go check him out and order from him, because he has a great website, but alright, so here's the 10 pack that I bought, and I'm using it up, not that fast, but uh, for a while, um, for the saint. Um, I didn't want any any Indian almond leaves in here just because they're gonna, you know, pollute, not pollute, but 
they're going to release a lot of tannins. And I knew this when buying it, but I still wanted it just in case. But I really just, you know, finally just thought, what, why does it matter whether it tannins my water, you know, makes it tea colored? It doesn't look too bad. And it's going to make my shrimp and my uh, betta live so much longer. And I want to be saying uh, my second in, second year anniversary of owning this betta rather than just a one year anniversary. So I want to keep them around as long as I can. Because I did buy them as an adult, so I, I didn't buy them as a baby. But alright, so. Uh, why are these dead? Well, they really just... It's like their natural environment. Bettas come from a tannined water. Uh, they live in rice paddies, but they're not clear as far as I can tell. So, you know, they... I, I don't know all the scientific facts. That I can't tell you... Like, I know tannins are good because, you know, I'm pretty sure, like... Okay, I don't know too much about the physics of tannins and etc. I do know that it helps them and it keeps them alive. But at the end of the day, why does it matter 100% whether you know the ins and outs of this? So someone to say, hey, I know the ins and outs of this and not use it. Or at least I'm using it to keep my fish healthy. But I don't know everything about tannins and, you know, Indian almond leaves. But I know it's really beneficial. Uh, um, in like shrimp orders, you see people where there's tannins. I think it may calm them a bit, but like, even though you can look it up, but even though I may not know everything about tannins and why they're perfect, I know that for a lot of different fish breeds, this is going to be a really good a uh, way to keep them healthy. And so, you know, look up online or on YouTube, different things, but just know that I'm not lying about this, and that I'm not promote, I'm not like, sponsored by Aquarium Top, because I'm too small, of course, to ever be sponsored by Aquarium Top, but, yeah, guys, so just shut him out, uh, there's other websites, if you don't want to buy from him, that sell it, I'm pretty sure Sergeant Tinks sells Indian Almond Leaves, but yeah, guys, so, Check out RSS Aquatics and sub them up. If you haven't checked out Aquarium Top, check them out. Or him out. But he has a business, so I guess them. And yeah, guys, I'll see you later. Uh, he's officially... I officially owned this guy for one year. I've officially been in the hobby since July 18th, 2015. And yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Comment, like, subscribe if you haven't already. And share. Uh, and I will see you guys later. Make sure to check out the blog and, um, my Pinterest. And have a good day, guys. Keep coming, be fish deep. Uh, God bless and cowboy out.